Hey, what's up out there, everybody? Can you hear me? How's it sounding out there today? I've got some help here. My buddy Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Hi. Say it loud. Hey. Loud and proud. <laughs> um, oh, we got people where it's the evening. It's not the evening for me. What is it? It's 3.05. So that was a little jam going there. Uh, clear and clean. Clear and clean. Thank you. Yes, and, and we're going to talk about some pentatonic exercises, but real quick, I'm wearing a cardigan, you know, uh, because I just, for the, the simple, well, it's winter and I'm still in Nashville, so it is in the like 40s, but also I just, you know, just for the pun, Marty and Icardi, Marty and Icardi. So yes, it's winter time, glasses. The cardigan. Uh, but I was going to talk about some pentatonic exercises there that that might help you. Now, if you do go to martymusic.com, uh, there's a pentatonic exercise course that has a bunch of these little 
you know, things that will really help your playing. And it's free. So I don't have a link right now, but, you, you know, martymusic.com. You can go over there and check out the free pentatonic exercise course. Um, only fans cardigan when. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, yeah, keep keep your uh, comments coming. I, I appreciate that the the audio is is doing all right. That's that's a great, great thing to hear because this streaming stuff can get tricky. Okay, so I'm going to just go to the key that I was using right in that opening, which was D major. So every pentatonic, like if you just know the main pentatonic shape, and I'll play the one I was using. Now, if I'm playing that where this finger of it, if I'm playing it where that finger is the root, then I'd be playing the B minor pentatonic. Thanks, Jacob. But every major has a relative minor. Every minor has that same relative major. You don't really have to know what that means, but if I play that same shape and I think of this note as the root and I'm playing it over that chord, D, then you get what's called the major pentatonic. So I was playing a D major. Oh, I just realized I look a lot like the uh, that new uh, A1C commercial guy, <laughs> or vice versa. Um, I don't want to give them any extra plugs, but that made me laugh. I shared it in my Instagram. Uh, well, actually, I shared it in my Instagram because other people were sharing it to me, including my children. Uh, so anyway, uh, pentatonic. If I was just jamming on D... Even uh, there it is. So I can play. I'm going to stop that, but over that, that's D major. I can play what you might think of as the B minor pentatonic, but it's on the E string. It's the uh, 7 to 10, then 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 10, 7, 10. And, but the D notes are the root. So the 10 on the high E, the 10 on the, uh, I'm sorry, the 10 on the high E, that's a D note. The other D note is on the 7th fret G. And then the other one is 10 on the low E. So... Now there's the extended scale. And I break all of this down uh, at martymusic.com, all the courses and stuff. But yes, you have the extension for that. Now that all works over B minor as well, where the B note is the root. So let me show you that. And then I'll show you an exercise. So first I was doing D major. Hold on a sec. Thank you. 
So then if I'm going to play that same scale, but now I'm going to do it as like a Johnny B. Good style blues in B. So that was D major. So the D notes were uh, the root, but now we're going to do the relative minor playing a B blues. actually all right so now I got this loop going same scale So I was using some outside notes, but the skeleton of everything I was doing was the same thing, this. So one thing that you want to do is just practice it technique-wise. You know, you could be sitting on the couch watching a football game or watching a show or something and just go through playing with the alternate picking But one that I like a lot is, you know, playing in triplets. So one, two, three, four, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, because that's the sound of the blues and it'll help your phrasing. Triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple. Uh, tri So triplets, triple a triple a triple a triple a triple a triple a triple a. So that time I added the blues note, but then just any scale you know you can you can do patterns. So one that I like that to start with is from the higher note down, so descending, and you do it in groups of four. So if I'm in that same scale. I went down four from the 10th fret of the high E. One, two, three, four. Then I go down four from the next note down, the seventh fret, all in that scale. And then the next one would be the 10th fret B string down four. Then the next one. And if you've never done those before, uh, start with like the first two. And you can take any, the, the shorter ones are easier. But 
any scale you know, groups of four. You do groups of five, groups of seven, groups of, you know, groups of one is the scale. So once again, I have an entire course of my favorite exercises that have helped me. Other parts of that are hammering on and pulling off the scale for speed. So now I'll just switch keys to E. And then you can do it with the open E. Blue scale. Groups of four. Another thing is any scale as well to develop a motif, melody. You can take any piece, especially the pentatonic and blues is a great way to work on this, but you can take any part of it and just repeat it. So E blues, this is the E blues scale still. I'm using, I'm gonna use this part. Just wanna throw in that I can see my monitor crystal clear and your comments crystal clear because I got glasses. They're for vision. All right. Just repeating any part of the scale. And then a variation. Repeating. Repeating. Thank you. 
Someone said, play Freebird. I don't know if you guys saw, but I uh, jammed Freebird live with a bunch of heavy rockers, and it was absolutely amazing. So fun. Uh, it was with my buddy Jared James Nichols and also Zach Myers from Shine Down. Anyone? Okay. <laughs> and also Richie Faulkner of Judas Priest. Are you kidding? Peter Keys from Leonard Leonard Skinnerd and little old Marty Schwartz in a cardigan. Uh, <laughs> and it's also there was a bunch of footage from it, but uh, I'll have some stuff coming out on it. But Premier Guitar, it's on their YouTube channel, and I got to you know, I mean. Other people did it first, but I was like, oh, I better do this. So I, you know, went up to the front of the stage and people were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it was my rock, rock and roll moment. It was actually really, really fun. Shout out to Jared James Nichols as well. Um, I'm going to do some shout outs here because I can see so well with my, with my lenses here. Uh, Uno Qualunque wants a Robert Cray song. I appreciate that. I mean, I don't know any off the top of my head here to just play on the spot, but I, I've met Robert Cray. I like his music. So maybe uh, we'll, we'll do a rain check on that. Greg Levinson on YouTube. Uh, Richard1206 on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, Ethan Duguay on YouTube. Thank you for all your continued support. Uh, Jeffrey Atacora, always great to see you. Um, Sean, Remy, uh, Anticipation, Oliver Taylor, all on YouTube. Uh, one Ogan, Ogan Burns. Okay. All right. Logan Burns, but with a one, I think. Yeah. Robert Fox. Thank you. He says, Robert Fox says, you're the best, Bubba. Uh, Bran Van Ho. Uh, anticipation okay yeah cool rich moran always no fish tacos today because i'm in uh, nashville it'd be like if san diego is fish tacos nashville would be all right hot chi hot chicken right jacob he's nodding yes um uh eric bridgens rajesh goomber josh norco agrees nashville hot chicken yeah, but once you're spending time in Nashville, you don't do. I don't do the hot chicken. It's, um, uh, T. Steven saw the Freebird video. It's great, and you saw me in the video and said, "Hey, that looks like Marty," and it was me. Uh, let's see, uh, Teva Hall, Dragon. What's my opinion on playing God by Polyphia? <laughs> What do you think, Jacob? I don't know. I do a lot of boomer bends. I don't know if I really can comment. Um, Boho Studio, thank you. Uh, Ozzy Farrow, any more guitar tours coming up? Yeah, I don't really, we don't really call it guitar tours anymore, right? We just keep it a little bit looser, but it's the same thing. We just don't title it anymore. But yes. What uh, I did some great, super fun stuff while I was here. As far as uh, sit down guitar tour stuff, we did a I did a sit down with uh, Rhett Scholl that's going to be coming out. Uh, an, a really cool hard rock guitar player named Britt Lightning. We did, and what just came out. You got to check out at martymusic.com was my interview with the Revivalists at the Ryman Theater. Revivalist at the Ryman Theater at the Marty Music Channel. So this one here, this is a good comment. Uh, Jason Hadrick Kalsa says, I met your dad busking once in Santa Fe Plaza. That's a really interesting comment. Uh, I lived in Santa Fe, so yeah, that was definitely was probably a thing. Uh, Pika Soft says Marty is tone stored in the hat. No, tone is stored in the. 
Hughes. <laughs> Hint, it's where the is also stored. Um <laughs> That's like just for Jacob that's why that's helping me film right now. Um How do you stay motivated to keep progressing? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, no, in all honesty, uh, you just have to, Pat Finnerty, <laughs> someone really wants to hear zombie, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Pat Finnerty, everyone, what makes a song suck? You got to check it out. It's a great series and he's a good dude. Uh, I watched one of your Instagram lives. You, I don't think you saw it because you were doing a live stream and then you like got up to get the door or you got up to like go do something and then you just like left the room and the stream was still going and I didn't know how long you were gonna be gone for <laughs> and get the stream going so I took off you know time is valuable and precious but anyway big fan Pat Finnerty uh yeah when's that collab that's right Jacob what makes a song mediocre we could do a, a uh, a sub a sub channel so Chris Crawford said I lived in Santa Fe too so I went to college in Santa Fe I lived in Santa Fe New Mexico from 1993 to about 1998 and I played in bands I that's where I met my guitar teacher Chris Sherland that's where I uh, played in bands so I was there oh and I worked at the Candyman guitar store a little bit taught guitar less started my life as a guitar teacher there but i'm from saying uh, well i'm from southern california uh play zombie please um Their bombs and 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 their guns and their bombs and their bombs and their guns in their guns and their bombs they are fighting And their tanks. Yeah, I really did uh, work at the Candy Man. Uh, I worked there, but it was probably, it was like in 1997 that I worked at the, at the Candy Man. It wasn't for that long, but I got a lot of private guitar students by working there and then eventually, uh, went off to just become a guitar teacher. But the Candy Man was really, really supportive of, of recommending me when I was first starting off teaching guitar. Uh, Randy, the manager there was really supportive and everyone... So I appreciate them. And I still run into uh, I still run into that manager, my manager, Randy, from the music store I worked at for a little while. I still run into him at the NAM show. Pretty much every NAM show I've been at, I, I end up running into him. So that's always that's always really nice. Um Hello in Italy. I don't know. It's hard to say it's favorite Nirvana song. Don't know if I have one. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, that's nice. Santa Fe connection. That's always nice. Um, 
<laughs> He's not a jukebox. He's not a jukebox. I want to. Um, we're pretty much done here. So this is all just. This is free time now. This is talky talk. I want to give a big thank you and shout out to uh, Jacob here that's helping me with my live stream today while I'm in Nashville. But Jacob has been editing my videos pretty much since the beginning of Marty Music. So really want to just thank him while he's here. He has nowhere to go. So I can embarrass him on the spot. Um, the only problem is Jacob's in c control of the camera, so he won't turn it around on himself to be like, "Hey, everyone, let's let's give it up for Jacob." He he's in control, so he can't. He's not going to do that. But uh, want to thank him. Want to thank all my friends here in Nashville. They're so supportive here. It's so so cool. Uh, oh, couple things. Couple things. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, May fifth. At the Bitter End in New York City, I'm going to be doing my own show there. Uh, the tickets are about to go on sale. I don't think they're on sale today, but I'll be talking about it. I'll be announcing it. Love anyone on the East Coast that can come out and see, uh, you know, come say hi and watch me play a, a show with a really great set of musicians. And my friend Jamie is going to be, my friend Jamie Allensworth is going to be uh, singing. And so that's going to be really cool. I'm going to be putting a, some live shows together in Nashville as well um, with various musicians and stuff. So that's going to be great. And then until Tuesday, I do have a sale on my essential blues and rock course, which is like beginner blues um, and, you know, beginner blues and beginner rock bundle um, Wix Wixster. It looks like a uh, super chat. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I mean, I think it's Wixter because it's got little symbols and stuff. But really appreciate that. Uh, loves pandas. Nice. When are you coming back to Nashville, Tennessee? Well, I'm in Nashville right now, but I'm going to be going back to San Diego only in a few days. But then I'll be back again in a few weeks for more adventures. Um... Yeah, so martymusic.com, free pentatonic course, sale on the essential blues course, and then May 5th uh, at the Bitter End in New York City playing a show. And then, man, you know, more more new videos. Jeez. And if you didn't catch that I, and I was a little out of tune, this is, this is not out yet, but I'm practicing this. Uh, still practicing. Right, you guys we're gonna get we're gonna get going here really appreciate all of you and thank you for the support see you next saturday thanks jacob appreciate it